Joe, your hot pot looks basic. I know, I need to add some more stuff. <laughs> Mine looks the best. It was so good. Look at that. I'm gonna mix mm. it up. Hi, everyone. Okay, so for today, we are at, where are we at? Cravings by 99 Ranch. We are at Cravings, and we are buying some ingredients to do our own lot. Pop pop slash shabu shabu. We yeah. have some bok choy. We got some mushrooms. We got our base for the hot pot and some spicy hot pot as well. Of course, we have our thin cut beef strips, our fish cakes, and our shrimp. And now we're going to get um, noodles. Oh yeah, we need noodles. And Gio's here too. So there's two different ways that people like to eat it. You eat all white rice and then you eat it off the rice. But I think we'll just do noodles. Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another mukbang. And I have two guests today, my sister Christy and her fiance Gio. And we are actually gonna make fresh hot pot, which is super exciting. I've never done it before, but today it's gonna happen. We already got our broth ready, and then we're gonna start putting our ingredients in. So I'm gonna start with some meat, get some meat in there. Let's see. I don't know about you guys. You could start with whatever you want. Then I'm gonna add some bok choy. We got some bok choy. Look at that. Mmm, okay. bok choy. Of course, we're gonna need some of these mushrooms. You gotta get that bok meat. Choy. I'll put I think that's enough. three in mine. I'll get two bok choy. What else do we have? My head's getting cut off. Oh yeah, one noodle each. One noodle each. Bong. Can you put this stuff? Yeah, oh yeah, these are the, the shrimp, the, the shrimp, the fish cakes. Our heads are getting cut off. <laughs> these are, we have some fish cakes as well. One of each for this one. I think this one was, um, this one has pork meat and imitation crab, I believe. Ooh, oh, you want, you want to tell them what we have? This one is tempura. We got some tempura over here, two each. Of course, we also have some other fish cakes right here. One each. I'm going to head back around and grab some. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Some noodles and mine. This so this looks good. really good. So guys. I'm gonna give y'all another angle with my phone so you can see what's going on here. What about these? How many do we get of these? Um, two each two of those. Each. Oh, and of course, we can't forget. What is that? Is that? Oh, uh, sake. We have our sake. Yeah. We have some sake here in a whiskey glass, but it's sake. Mm. How's it taste? Mm. <laughs> 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 it's actually not bad. Have you tried it? No, let me try it. It's better than vodka, better than tequila, honestly. Mm. Did you guys put your meat already? Yeah, did I put enough? Have you put any meat here? Mm-hmm. And then we oh, don't yeah. forget you can't put you can't you have to put some but mint. But you can put more. Oh yeah, where's the mint? Right here. I'm put some more. Some mint. Ooh, it looks so good. So since y'all can't see, I'm gonna record with my camera and I'll put that in the video as well. I'm gonna put some sesame seed oil here, in Here, let mine. me get some of, some of this at camera action over here. Just a little bit. Look at that. Joe, your hot pot looks basic. I know, I need to add some more stuff. <laughs> mine looks the best. It looks so good. Look at that. I'm gonna mix mm. it up. Of course, you gotta mix that up. See, if you can, as you can see, all these different ingredients. My head's getting cut off. Hi! We have some beef, mushrooms, bok choy. The broth is a combination of beef stock. Um, what else? We got beef stock. And the hot pot sauce. But, uh, the hot pot soup base and stuff like that. Soy sauce. And I cooked the meat a little bit just so it wouldn't be raw <laughs> when we were eating this. But it already looks so good. Smells good too. You put some of um, this already? Yeah. Yeah. I'll put a little bit of poison sauce. Some poison sauce. Can't go wrong with some poison sauce. Look at that. And of course, we have our bowls over here so we can put our hot pot in here so we don't burn our mouths. All right. So in the last video, hot, oh, she's recording. I'm gonna let it cook a little more. So yes, this is my second mukbang. 
Um, I decided that mukbangs are something that I'm considering doing. I actually really enjoyed making the first one. And I love eating, so there's nothing better than eating. And I don't know, I just feel like it'd be nice to have friends and family over when I do my mukbangs. Just different guests of people who are born in my life. So I feel like that's the goal. Also, if you can't hear, I'm sorry, the camera's pretty far away. So I'm gonna shout! Did you put um, all your ingredients? I put most of mine. Your meat? Yeah. I think I need How a little bit more. There's still meat there then. Uh, I'll take some. I'll probably need a no, little bit. No, those. Oh, Gio, did you get those? Oh, I didn't put these yet. I didn't put that one either. These are dumplings. What kind of dumplings are they? Some more, some more mushrooms. Uh, chicken and cilantro. Mm, look at that. Delicious. Shabu shabu. I closed mine to heat everything up and simmer it. All right, we can let it simmer for like two minutes. All right, heat it up. So what are we talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, I already talked about in the last video. I talked about like I reviewed my 2018, my 2019, what I want 2020. So now I'm gonna ask both of you, what do you want in 2020? I knew you were gonna ask that. Um, you go first, Christy. Can you pass me my water? Oh, I thought you want some sake. <laughs> she has water. <laughs> we have sake. <laughs> so is there anything that you want in 2020? A lot, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she Look. wants a brand new car. She wants a, a, a house. Or we'll, we already have a house, but... We have a house already, but we we're trying to like fix it up and renovate it. So for 2020, I want it to be done. And completed. Mm. Completed. Um, yeah, completed. And then I want, we're getting married, as David mentioned. So I want our wedding to be planned out and it to run smoothly. And I just want, I'm very excited for this year because I feel like this year is where a lot of change is happening, but it's good change, you know. Sometimes we are afraid of change, but this is a good change. So. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And I'm starting my second semester in grad school. So wish me luck. Almost ready. Just gonna let it sit for a bit. Um, have some sake. Strong, baby. <laughs> you need lemon? It's not that strong. <laughs> Compared to vodka, yeah, uh, vodka burns. This doesn't burn. It, it tastes like alcohol, but it doesn't burn. <laughs> Water? Christy. All right, I think I'm ready to dig in. Oh, I have a serving spoon, right? Here, we got our little serving spoon. So I'm gonna get some soup. I need to record this with my phone too, y'all, so you could get a better angle of this. Well, I was just gonna eat straight out of the hot pot. I mean, you could do that too. Ooh, it's nice and hot. Hence the name, hot pot. <laughs> All right, oops, I'm recording like that. Okay, here we go. Can't wait. Can't wait for Look me. at that. All right, let's see this. I need to record this. Mm. Okay, let me get some in my pole. All right. Oh, this is gonna be messy. Look at this. Ooh, it's steaming. Get some broth. Ooh, some noodles. Ooh, some fish cakes. Look at that. That's the camera setup. Hi. <laughs> okay. Some broth. Of course, we need our broth. Otherwise, it's not hot pot. All right. You want me to hold it? Oopsies. That's when you know it's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know it's good. All right, I wish y'all could see this food. And smell it. You know what, maybe we should just... No, it's fine. All right. And there's the little fish cakes too. Okay. Look at this beauty. So in case you're wondering, we went to a store called Cravings by 99 Ranch. And they had all the ingredients that we needed. So that was great. We just had to go to one store to get all these ingredients. But let me show y'all, if you guys want to use a serving spoon. Yeah, can I use it? Yeah. Let me show... <laughs> so, this is what I got right now. I don't know if I can hold it at the proper angle. And you already saw my phone video, but still. Look at that deliciousness. Alright. So, I'm going to try it now, because I haven't tried it, and it's already been 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. Fish cake. David. I need the broccoli. Pretty good. Too. Some mushrooms and some noodles. Let's see. It's really hot. Here. Mm. 
tastes like authentic hot pot. I'm surprised, but I'm happy. Bok choy. It's hot, but good. <laughs> Is it spicy or hot? Temperature hot. Oh, mm -hmm. temperature. It's not that spicy, huh? What for me? Not spicy. Okay, I'm going in, guys. There's a little kick, but not too much. Justin, if you're watching, I'm sorry if you can't handle these slurpy sounds. <laughs> he can't handle it. Mmm. <laughs> so. Good. Thumbs up. You good? Mm -hmm. Any 2019 regrets? <laughs> Um, <laughs> shit. 2019 regrets. Hmm. Jill not proposing to me sooner. I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I can see. I'm just kidding. Um, I don't really have any regrets. Me either. That's the way to live, huh? I mean, don't get me wrong, we've all made mistakes. No one's, you know, perfect. We're all humans, but I wouldn't say I have any regrets because whatever happened in your life happened and you just need to learn how to like get past it or like build upon whatever happened, whether it's negative or positive. So. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. This is the tempura fish cake. Looks really good. Mm. I'm gonna close mine. All right. Hope y'all can hear us. <laughs> if not, G G. Enjoy the visual experience. All right. How's it? It's good. Could be a little bit warmer. A little bit warmer. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still warm enough. It's not icy or anything. It's good. Mmm mmm. It was really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I would make it again. My favorite fish cake one. We got some beef here. As you can tell, we had a little bit more beef, or is it not there? And then we saved the rest of the beef somewhere. But yeah, we cooked most of it. Oh, it's right there. We cooked about half of it. Maybe we should cook all of it, because I'm already almost done with my beef. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. But it looked like a lot. It's really thin beef, that's why. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Oh wait, I just remembered there's more food in the hot pot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very good. I think it's a fun way to make food with the family. I, pro I would probably do this again. I think it was really nice. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I think it's really fun. You could do a lot with this because you could, um, Pick your own like ingredients mm -hmm. and you could do it at the, you know, make it a date night with, you know, people you care about, watch a movie, relax. Cheers. You're making the food together and when you make the food together, I feel like it brings you together. So this is something that I, I find to be a really great idea. When I Google searched hot pot, it said, number one rule of hot pot is do not have hot pot with people you don't like. <laughs> so, it's a good thing we don't we don't hate each other. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get some more of this. Mm. Oh, we got another shrimp tempura here. Look at that beauty. Mm. Ooh, oh. Ooh. Be careful, David. All right, it's still nice and hot because it's in the hot pot. Okay. By the way, this is an electric hot pot. It's not gas powered, but it still does the job. Look at all that steam. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to use two hands for this. What's this? Look at that. Gorgeous. Ooh. Something just exploded in my mouth. <laughs> what the hell that? Ooh, yeah. what's that? I haven't gotten one. It's good. 
The balls? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got some dumplings too. I, for I haven't tried the dumplings. Did you put your ball in there? Yes. Or you haven't tried it yet? No, it's right here. See, this is it. This is a, I forget which kind of fish ball this is. But it's shrimp. What was the shrimp one? Oh, this is the shrimp pork one. Or is it the imitation crab pork or whatever? Yeah, it's my favorite one. Really? Did you try the, did you try the tempura? Okay. Let's try a dumpling. Y'all are gonna have to zoom in or have a big screen to see all the little details. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to show everything. So good. And there's three of us, so it's hard to get us all in frame without us being cramped. Alright, let's try the dumpling. What was in the dumpling? You said chicken? Yeah, chicken like, cilantro. Oh, uh, yeah. Chicken cilantro, alright. Mmm! Mm hmm. It's good. The dumpling's good. It's better than the fish cake. Yeah? Well, let's try I'm gonna try this one, the one that you said that was good. That one is good. No, it explodes? It I'm, not, I'm not sure I'm right. It melts in your mouth? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, right? <laughs> what? There's like some goulash in it. <laughs> but it's good goulash. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it like... That was interesting. I didn't what expect that. What? Oh, here. Oh, that's right. Mmm. Ooh, I still have a lot of meat. So, I want to talk about something really quick that I'm sure when well, YouTube probably aren't in that in depth or don't know much about it, but YouTube drama. Oh, yeah. Let's see what are your that. thoughts on. Let's talk about social media <laughs> and its effect on people. That's what I want to know. Tracy wasn't talking about this. Yeah. What do you think about social media? I personally, no, I don't want to get any negative comments, but this is just an opinion, okay? So, disclaimer. <laughs> Please do not send hate to Christy, David, G, or any <laughs> affiliated parties. This is meant to inform. <laughs> okay, go. I don't like social media. I feel like a lot of people's like mentality is so based off of social media. Mm -hmm. I, for one, have social media, but I de I took it out of my phone. I like I didn't deactivate it, but I um, what is it called when you deleted take the, the app? Yeah, yeah, I deleted the app. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like so many people are just paying attention to social media instead of paying attention to like what's going on around them in real life. Like our lives are based on virtual reality. I feel like it's getting to that point where we're not focusing on what's going around us mm -hmm. and we're too concerned with what's going on in little screens. Like instead of looking at little screens, you should be looking at the bigger picture which is around you. So I feel like- But do that after you watch this video. <laughs> <laughs> no, social media. By social media, I mean like Snapchat, right, right. Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, you know. In Instagram, like especially. I feel like Instagram is the most, like, mm -hmm. it affects people the most because they care about the following, the likes. And I know I do too <clears throat> because, you know, I care about that stuff because I'm trying to work in the entertainment industry and, you know, for ads and stuff like that. They actually care about your follower count and stuff like that. So then you feel pressure to like sort of keep up this image and like it's just not how you are in real life. You're not always going to be perfect. You're not always going to have chiseled features, you know. Sometimes you had a big meal, you gained five pounds, you would fluctuate. So on social media, people are only seeing the best, you know. Yeah, you only post what you want other people to see. You're not going to be posting things about yourself that you don't want others to see. You only want to see, you only want to post what makes you look perfect and there is right. no definition of perfect right. and I did a project on this in school about social comparisons and stuff and it really does affect the self-esteem of people especially like younger teenagers and stuff like that but there are obviously there are tons of benefits with social media like being able to talk to people around the world I have people from other countries they'll just get into my DMs talking Italian I'm like okay I'm gonna I'm gonna Google translate that because I want to have these conversations with people of different cultures and I feel like it really gets me to think about things that I wouldn't have thought about. So there are some benefits, but there's also, you just gotta be careful. And just like with everything in life, I think moderation is important. You can't be too obsessed with social media and you can't, you know, everything in moderation. Obviously, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me get some more noodles and some tempura. And I feel like this is totally off 
subject, but this whole setup was actually very inexpensive. Like if you were to go to a restaurant and do this, it's very pricey. Mm -hmm. And then with this, we were actually able to buy more ingredients, mm -hmm. different kinds of like meat, different kinds choose of- Choose what we want to put in choose it. Choose exactly how you Custom want it. made. You know, I added a little bit of hoisin sauce, mm -hmm. he didn't. I yeah. like mine a little bit more spicy, so I put more spicy sauce. And, and on my channel, I try not to do any- This is my second mukbang ever. But it's really important to me that my meals are home cooked. Of course, I might do some like, you know, fast food every now and then. But for right now, my vision is to have home cooked meals because I want to get better at cooking and I want to be healthy. And um, a lot in the mukbang community, sometimes people are really unhealthy. And I mentioned this in my previous video, but I'm not going to sacrifice my health for entertainment. But I want to make some bomb, delicious foods and I want to show it off with the world and I want to eat it and I want to talk to my audience. So, health, this is kind of healthy. I mean, it's better than McDonald's, so there well, you go. Well, we know what's going into our food. We know what's going, there's, yeah. Because there's a difference between healthy and like, not unhealthy, processed, processed yeah. and then also being aware of what you are eating. Like mm. with this, we are aware of what we are mm -hmm. eating. We know exactly what we put into mm -hmm. it, so we know what we are consuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm getting full already. I know. How long has it been? Like, I can't even see 22 minutes. I'm blind. Get some bok choy now. Yeah, I want fine. some more beef. It's pretty good. It's 22, huh? Yeah, it's 22. 23. Okay, we're probably, this video will probably be about 30 ish minutes. But um, comment down below. I'm going to ask y'all two questions. One, what are your thoughts on social media? Two, any New Year's goals or resolutions? Or any regrets. <laughs> oh, and then if they, and then what about, um... Any food ideas yeah. for future mukbangs? I yeah. think that would be very cool. If you have any food ideas, let me know. I was thinking of shrimp, or maybe frog legs. I don't know. I want to try some interesting things. Hopefully the memory card doesn't get full. I think the memory card's about to get full, so we'll be right back in half a second. Hi, everyone. Okay. So where wait, were we? Wait. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> the memory card died as I mentioned earlier, but now we're zoomed in so you can see more of the hot pot, more of our beautiful faces. Um, we cooked a little bit of meat. We added some, just a little bit more meat here for us. But look at that beauty. I should have zoomed in from the start. What was I thinking? All right. At least you got those phone videos to help out. Oh, it's steaming. Steaming. I hope this is ready. Yeah, it's ready. Oh. There it is. Mm mm. Some more noodles. I'm surprised that little bunch of noodles actually was enough for me. Because I still have plenty of noodles. Look at that. Look at me. Mm. I have so many noodles left. Mmm. Oh, you look good, Chef. Share some. Chew, are you <laughs> eating it all? We're gonna go eat. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> We paid for this, let's eat it. <laughs> right. It's actually really good. What was I going to say? I would make it again, it's so easy to make, guys. They've never had hot pot before. Mm -hmm. So the first time they've had hot pot was home cooked. Isn't that cool? <laughs> now we're going to have, when we go out and try it, we're probably going to compare it and yeah. see. Yeah, but. But this is actually fun. like pretty, like pretty close, like honestly. Because I had hot pot like three days ago. <laughs> This is really close. I'm really proud with how it turned out. So just like my last video, I'm surprised. Like, maybe I can cook. <laughs> Anybody could cook. You know, my maybe I should have recorded that, like the shopping and stuff, and like the cooking a little bit more. So let me say this real quick. So on my YouTube channel, I actually have a lot of food videos, which I didn't even realize that I did. Remember the peanut butter one, Hi True. All these different. I did like food hauls and stuff like that. I never realized I had that many food videos, so I already made a new playlist called Mukbangs and Food Videos. So you can check that on my channel, it's a new playlist, there's about 17 videos. Um, this will be the 18th, I believe. Oh wow. But yeah, and my first ever dream job when I was a little kid, when I was like four, was to be like a chef on the Food Network. Like remember Emerald, Rachel Ray and stuff like that? Yeah. So this is kind of the same thing, but YouTube edition. 
There you go, <laughs> fulfilling your dreams. One way, right? Who would have thought, right? I need a serving spoon. <laughs> it's in the front. Hmm. Here we go. Because my broth and my plate, it's kind of cold. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of... Damn. A lot. I finished all mine. <laughs> Damn big boy! Look at this. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> oh my Look at it, it's empty. <laughs> Damn. Good job. Yeah. That means you liked it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> We did a good job, all three of us. We did a great job. So, yeah, and then like I was saying, the the last clip was, it's very inexpensive. Like mm -hmm. we're gonna. It's since, not expensive, yeah. Yeah. So like, since we have, well, I have some leftover, and then we also have like some meat and stuff and some other noodles. We're just gonna put it in one big pot and share, share with it. The family. We didn't put our spit in the hot pot, so it's good. Yeah. So we're gonna share with the rest of the family and. Um, it was a really good price. It was well, we actually bought more than just this kind of like this kind of um, ingredients. Yeah, we bought. We also bought like what, what was this? Spring roll. Spring roll ingredients. Ingredients, um, and then also curry. Yeah, curry, and then there was one more. Um, I bought noodles to make like a stir fry. So. Yeah. Fifty bucks total for everything. Yeah. But it's multiple meals for families, out, like for the family, and um, yeah, dope, definitely worth it for sure. Split them on three. Yep. All right, let's try this big old bunch. I need some close-up action for this because we're at the end of the video. Hopefully, I don't get burned. All right, you ready for this? Dude. <laughs> mm. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Some mushrooms and noodles. You want more? Yeah. What? <laughs> more sake? <laughs> I want more sake. Oh my Shit. god. I'm trying to finish the sake. Last time I had green juice, this time I have sake. Look at that. How is it? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's not bad. Like, compared to vodka and tequila. It might smell, it might, it might smell like rubbing alcohol. <laughs> it doesn't taste like rubbing alcohol, <laughs> only a little. <laughs> only a little. But honestly, vodka is harder to, harder, um, I feel like vodka is more like harsh than this is. Yeah, that. I'll, I'll stick to using it to cook. Yeah, she, did, she wanted the sake for dishes, like cooking. Got some bok choy. All right, y'all, almost done. This is just so good, I can't stop eating. I finished. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just stare at Dave, David eat. <laughs> kind of awkward. And <laughs> Looks like you want I'm the some. definition of awkward. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the chewing noises. Yeah, but overall, I really like this. It was mm -hmm. really fun. Yeah, um, it was fun. I would do it again. And I look forward to actually talking about like the whole goals and stuff or like what I want. I look forward to doing this with Gio in our, in our home. So, um, yeah, a lot of exciting things coming up in this new year, and I hope everything goes well for you guys. Too. Yeah, we hope everything, we hope it's a great decade for everyone who's watching, friends, family, anyone. Um, if you want to do a mukbang with me, message me. I'll think about it. Maybe you have to pay. We'll, we'll make it happen. <laughs> we can make it happen. Like I said, like I'm starting mukbangs on my channel because I really want to just have this experience because. I know food is so important, eating with family, I didn't do that much growing up other than at restaurants, but at home that didn't happen, you know what I'm saying? So we're trying to get that now and it's really great. Um, so yeah, comment down below what, sh what are some uh, mukbang ideas that you'd like to see, um, what are your resolutions, your goals, regrets, stuff like that. I try to respond to every comment I see. I don't get many, 
But the ones that I get, I do respond because it means so much to me. Alright, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want more mukbangs. Um, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. <laughs> Cringe. I'm all staring at David. Thanks. So just a quick little add-on to the end of the video. We decided to mix all three of the pots into one giant hot pot. and for, So that way our family, who didn't get a chance to be in this video, can enjoy the hot pot. So that's pretty exciting. Thank you both for being in this video, I appreciate it. And no to future mukbangs.